Hi everyone, I want you to meet our friend Frank. Frank here is a big, rough and tough construction worker, you can see. You can say hi to Frank. Frank is going to teach us a little bit more about schema theory and the generalized motor program that we recently discussed in class. As we had mentioned, with the generalized motor program, what it allows us to do is take a group of actions, like we talked about an overhand throw, walking, writing your signature, or just writing in cursive, and by taking all the experiences that we've ever had with that specific group of actions, we are then able to make simple modifications for different situations in order to be successful with all new tasks. So as an example in class, when I had you stand and balance on the chair and you were all able to do that with your first try, that's an example of balance as a generalized motor program. And all the different times you've balanced in your life, you've gathered that information so you were able to make quick modifications to balance on that chair. Well, Frank here is going to give us a little bit of an example. So here's Frank. This over here, this empty jar is Frank's brain, his kind of computer for his generalized motor program. And we're gonna talk about Frank's motor program for driving. So right now, Frank is a beginner driver. So his brain or that file folder for driving is kind of empty. But what we are going to do is, we're gonna grab Frank's truck. So you can see this is a big dump truck. And we are going to get Frank settled into this driver's seat. Frank needs to work on his flexibility. Now Frank is in the driver's seat. We can see, hi Frank, he's ready to drive. Now, Frank might drive on a pretty simple surface here, this flat surface. You can see Frank is driving on this flat surface and what he is doing is adding to his file. So this little soccer ball is going to represent Frank driving on a flat surface. So he took all the information from that experience and he throws it into his little bucket, his file of that generalized motor program for driving. Now Frank might drive on a different surface. So now he's driving on this carpet surface, and this will give you an example of difference between driving on brick road, on pavement, um, in snow, in rain, right? So as he's driving on this, he is now gathering information about driving on a different surface, and this baseball might represent that. So here in this baseball, that now becomes, he didn't really gather that information too well, that now becomes part of that file of his generalized motor program for driving. So now he's driven on one surface, he's also driven on another. We might also have Frank drive at different speeds. So on the carpet, maybe he's driving slowly, whereas this wood floor might represent the highway where he's going very fast, right? So those might add to his motor program. So we might add a soccer ball for driving really fast on the highway, and a basketball for driving at slow speeds. Frank might also find himself, as many of us do, on the 401 in a traffic jam. So here we have Frank in his big dump truck following a ambulance, a fire truck, another fire truck, a police car, a motorcycle, and another ambulance. So now Frank is learning what it's like to drive in traffic. He might also learn what it's like to weave between traffic if we can do this. Maybe Frank has to make some adjustments and weave in between traffic, hopefully without knocking people over, but you guys get the point, or passing people. So that might be, again, this baseball, adding to his motor program. Frank might also have to avoid other obstacles a crazy duck on the road, or this lion that is going to try to eat him. Maybe he's driving through an African safari. So that would add another ball to his motor program. He might also have to drive behind a big truck where he cannot see where he's going as well. We all have experienced this where the truck is blocking your view. So that might add another ball. 
And then as you could imagine, Frank might also be adding to his motor program, if we can get him out of this truck, by driving different vehicles. So maybe instead of just driving this big dump truck, Frank drives this ambulance. So now it's a different size car or this police car, fire truck, fire truck, etc. And with each of those, we're adding to the motor program. So now Frank's brain is full of this file of motor programs for driving. So now in every situation that he encounters with driving, he has a more well-developed motor program in order to be successful. So again, the key point that we made in class is the importance of varying practice. So if Frank only drives his dump truck on the carpet, he is only going to become good at that. What he needs to do, he would only have one ball in his file. He would not be able to make quick adjustments to brand new situations. If it got snowy, he'd have trouble. If there was traffic, he would have trouble. But as he adds more balls, he has more ability to draw from those things to make adjustments and be successful. So hopefully Frank helped you all understand a little bit more of generalized motor program and schema theory, and he's going to say bye now because he has to go back to his construction job.